What is going on everyone? Welcome back for another exciting travel vlog. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're in for a good one. We are going to a replica of The Munsters House. Yes, it's the 1960s show, The Munsters. So my parents are here. Um, <laughs> they are huge fans, especially my mom, of the show The Munsters. She grew up with it. She loves it. She has like the DVDs of The Munsters, you know, on and I, even me, on TV land, you know, back in the day growing up, I always watched The Munsters. So anyway, we're going to a replica house. It's about an hour south of us. Um, I don't know, 20 minutes south of Dallas, but we're going to a replica house of The Munsters. So this couple who lives there, you can book a private tour, which we did today. It's the four of us. Uh, they literally bought a house, did redid the whole outside. They redid, um, they went all back to like the original blueprints of the, the show from watching the show, all the episodes, and they were able to recreate all the rooms to look exactly like it did in the show. So we're very excited. My, both of my parents have no idea. Um, this is really my, my mom's big present surprise for coming down here. So we're going to do it this morning and uh, try to get her reactions on film. So it should be fun. Um, Sandra, I think, is the the woman who owns the house. She's going to be giving us a tour. So we'll probably get some of that on video. And anyway, let's go. I had to get the pumpkins in the background too. So let's, let's go tour the Texas Munster's house today. What do you think, Ma? I want my picture with it. <laughs> it's so cool. Mom is uh, very uh, excited. Wait till you see the inside. So this is the Monster House. Mom's in her glory. 1313 Mockingbird Lane. What do you think, Pops? <laughs> I didn't expect this. Yeah, that's, that's a surprise. Cool. Look at this. Welcome. Where y'all from? Dayton. 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 It's hard to justify a landline just for a phone that we don't use anymore. Mm -hmm. But it actually did work. We lived in this house for 11 years. And, and house like 95% of the house just like this with cobwebs, dust, all of that. And we decided we turned our garage into a small house so we could live a little normal. You know, and oh, but I, I love it. I have six grandbabies grow up here. Mind you, tell them. Wow. Run your toys in my cobwebs. <laughs> dust, you know, that was kind of normal. So, but you're welcome to look in here. If you're taller than me, watch the cobwebs, yeah. please. Excuse me, and if y'all want me to take family pictures, I'll be happy to. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. That is so cool. Watch the show there in the kitchen. Watch the show. Okay. Watch the show. 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 I was lucky enough to find this harp. It's just like the one that Lily had in the show. Now, over here, this organ is not an original organ by no means, but about 10 years ago, I had a guy contact me. He's like, Miss McKee, an organ for sale. It looks just like the one in the show. It doesn't work, but I'll sell it to you for $10,000. I said, yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> I waited a few years, found this on Craigslist, and it is identical to the one on the show, and we got it for $500. So sometimes wow. you just have to Dungeon. They oh, did the not dungeon. have this railing in the show. And there's but Herman. During my charity events, I had the lady fall into the dungeon. <gasps> oh, no. 
home like that. We had a house full of tours. My tour guide was in the middle talking to people. She wandered off with her five-year-old son. I was talking to him. She was looking around and everything. And she grabbed him backwards and she grabbed her son. the dungeon all the way down. Clock with the bird. joking with him one day and said, oh, buddy, it'd be cool to go to Munster House. And he goes, you know, we could do that. Well, he knows not to tell me that. So, <laughs> yeah. So I started researching it. I, there was no blueprints. I watched all 70 episodes over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And that's how I could tell where things were supposed to be in the house. And like Lily was five foot four, I'm five foot two. I could see how many steps it took her to get to the staircase or the stove or and that's how we determined where things were. And oh, it was just, wow. I had no Munster stuff then. I started collecting then. And it's just been, we've done a lot of wonderful TV shows. Now, when y'all are ready, take your time. But when you're ready, come on into the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen's one of my favorites. Oh, oh, it's awesome. She said she had a friend from Georgia come up and show her how to do this. So this is their, her actual wall that she dug into. So I maybe just like the house. All right, we're going into the kitchen now. There's the living room. Dining room, going into the kitchen. You didn't tell her? Oh. Yeah, I didn't tell her. <laughs> not, not I not believe when I saw her. Away, then he started playing. I played the Munsters theme song in the car. What are you doing? <laughs> and mom, mom was like, no way. I said, yeah. <laughs> so when here's the kitchen, everything in here is identical to the show, from the beating board on the walls to the butcher block. Lily's got those popovers over there. Uh, we reproduced the hot water heater, even had these ugly cabinets made because we had to have the ones in the show. These chairs, I could not find the heavy duty ones, so I had to have these reproduced. The stove is another Craigslist find, and that we were lucky it was close enough to drive and pick it up. So we're very fortunate, and it is identical, as you see by the picture. It's identical to the one in the show. Now, I was very fortunate. This is Lily Munster over here. She's a little thinner than what she should have been. My statue guy's up north, and it's really hard to ship a statue back. Mm. But I was very fortunate I won a phone call from her. And I knew I was getting this phone call, and I made a whole list of questions, things I want to know about the house, her wig, her dress, all these things. She called me one day, and I was out Christmas shopping. So I was sitting in the car for a whole hour like <laughs> a crazy person. Didn't ask her anything I wanted to ask her. I was like, hey, how are you doing today? <laughs> you know, I was really, I know when she got off the phone, she probably said, wow, that lady's really crazy or dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Now, my husband tells me, baby, 50% of the people are not going to notice these things. But the 50% that do are usually diehard Munster fans, and they don't know. Yeah. Kitchen. So these plates are the original to the show. Original to the set, right here. All right. Living room, dining room, kitchen. Heading upstairs right now. So cool. get off somewhere even though in the show they didn't show you where they were getting off but they yeah. had to be going somewhere and when we lived here that was my Christmas closet yeah. it's now an extra lap for grandpa because I figured that's what grandpa would have wanted me to do yeah 
We also cut this oh, short so door cool. in over here. It's only short because of the wood on the other side. But I didn't want to ride a suit of armor around with a laundry basket, so we cut this door in over here. Anyway. Steps. This is cool. We're going into Lily's room right now. Very short at the duck. But house is upstairs. They don't solve our crime, it just helps our guests get started thinking about things. If you get all four, you win a prize, and it just, it's just something extra to do. So, now in here is Lily and Herman's room. The most cool. noticeable thing, of course, would be the canopy bed. When we lived here, we slept on that bed for 11 years. Wow. As soon as we moved next door, first thing I got was a king-size bed. <laughs> <laughs> that was rough, and then you forget to step down in the middle of the night. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, but through the years of dressing as a Lily Munster for our charity event, I've had all eight dresses reproduced, plus the cape pair, plus the dress from the 1966 Munster Go Home movie. And I sure hope I can buy that dress when it comes up for sale. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I just... bat necklace. Gotta have a bat necklace, of course. Now I want y'all to take your time in here, but when you're ready, meet me at the suit of armor and we'll rotate that around. Okay. okay. And remember, any place y'all want a family picture at, just let me know. Oh yeah. Got to get a nice. Oh, I see right in front of the, the stairs. The stairs. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good spot. Lily and Herman's room. What do you think, Ma? So cool. I can't tell you how excited I am. <laughs> used to keep my four youngest grandkids or boys used to keep them in trouble trying to ride the suit of armor. That's them. so cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'll rotate it back. Wow. You know, diehard Munster fans, they asked if you had the rotating suit of armor, the coffin foam, spot. Oh, yeah. The dungeon. All right, moving on. Going into Marilyn's room. Pat Christmas room. As you see, she was not the plain one. She's a beautiful lady there. Now, she played episode 14 through 70, and she'll tell you when she went into audition for the part, she thinks she got the part because she could wear all the same dresses that Beverly Owens wore. But she'll also tell you she's the most important one because she was there the longest. Now, when Pat comes out of her room, in the show, they make it look like she's coming out from the room across the hall from Eddie's room. But when the guy climbs up the balcony to elope with her and the one that thinks he's saving her, he climbs up this balcony and comes into this room. It's a play on the set. Like season one, they had a step down in the kitchen. They took that out because they said it was too rough on Herman's ankles. And they also, when they changed, Marilyn's going to hold out for it. The book on the dresser over there, The Bridges of Madison County, that was not part of the Munsters. But Marilyn Munster gave me that as a gift, so I leave it on Aww. her dresser. Now you see the fingerprints, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. And people will point things out. Yes, like they too. will. Oh. So now I just go ahead and say it ahead of time. <laughs> but y'all take your time. This little secret passage. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. So it oh, goes to Grandpa's room. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh -huh. View outside. All right, leaving Marilyn's room right now. I think we're going to Grandpa's room next. Who that? Most people thought Grandpa was a lot shorter because Herman was so tall it made Grandpa yeah. look shorter, but he was actually a good sized guy. Now, when he came in 2002 for our charity event, he was people would just stop and listen because his stories were fantastic. But he was very blunt, bored, had mercy. Was, was that Al Lewis? Al Lewis, Al yes. Lewis. Okay, yeah. Now, we had one of our guests asked him if they received residuals from the Munsters. And of course, back then, nobody got any money or anything. And I won't say the word Grandpa said, but he looked at the guy and said, what are you, the blanket IRS? Why are you asking me these questions? I'm like, Grandpa, they're just curious. Nobody really wants to get in your money. <laughs> but I mean, he was very blunt, but 
I mean, he was just amazing. I've got pictures of him. room saying goodbye this is really cool now we're going to Eddie's room oh yeah the two fire extinguisher and the teddy bear excuse me is from the set now that costume over there is not an original costume but I had a guy contact me about at least 10 years ago and when he was a little boy in the 60s, his grandmother made him that costume to dress as Eddie Munster for Halloween. So he wanted to know if he sent it to me, if I would display it in Eddie's room, and I was proud to get it. So he sent me the costume yeah. and a picture of the coffin, even though they never showed it in the show, but they talked about it when Lily was changing the lining out, you could hear it creaking yeah. and stuff, and they talked about it. A lot of people thought he slept in a drawer because when they went to the hotel, he slept in that drawer, but he actually slept in I remember that, yes. yeah. But I did have a coffin up there, but I had a lady come in, the worst kid I've ever met in my entire life. She let him get up there and break it. Oh, oh so, yeah. No. Oh, it's on my husband's honeydew list, but he's really tired of that list, so I don't know. But I did have one of my guests offer me a real Eddie's costume. child's coffin, and I just couldn't. I can't do a coffin yet. And you know, if it's vintage it's that old, moment. there's bound to be somebody in it. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 That, that would be kind of Yeah, I couldn't yeah. do it. Even though she sent me pictures, it was really awesome, but not for me. <laughs> so, now over here, this is Eddie Munster. This was size of him in the show. I made the mistake of asking if they did his teeth that way for the show. No, that was actually his teeth in real life. So I made the mistake of asking someone about their teeth. <laughs> There's a passageway right there we're gonna go through. Wow. See, now we have to get Nicole to watch the TV show. Yep. That's so cool. That is awesome. Is that you? Will I even fit through there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe I better not. You could do a pops. All right, we're gonna go through the secret passageway. See if Pops can fit through there. <laughs> I'm not going to force it. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to make sure. That is awesome. All right. Here we go. Hey, look, he's in here. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. All right. I'm in, like, the middle of the house here. Wow. You didn't try. No, I tried, but I got right to here, and it stopped. I'm going to my shirt. Oh, this is so cool. That. We finally found a place for a new secret passageway. I wanted more when we lived here, but my builder was so bad. It was just a hassle. Yeah. I don't think about it. But when There's we do passageway. it, I'll have to shut down for a couple of weeks because it's going to be a hat. Oh, my gosh. They were good about it. I've but... had a, a couple of people here that was um, Southwest, or, oh, not Southwest, American Airlines oh, stewardess and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what they call them nowadays, but anyway. They said it's been bad. That's why they banned you from drinking. Oh, yeah. But like she said, you still go to the lounge before you now, board. They did tons of things in the 60s, like lunch boxes and coloring books and puppet dolls and wow. costumes and 16 different comic books. You name it, they had it. Now they're making all this new stuff. Some of it's good, some of it's not, but they're making Lily's dress pink, and we know a vampire would not wear a pink dress. Yeah. 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 So, now the house up there in the picture in the blue that in 2005 me and my sister-in-law went on Universal Studios to get a back lot to see the Yeah, house. I want to go there. I, we want to go to Los Angeles. Yeah. And um, at the time, I see Bar Two. I contacted them, bought the tuxedo from them, didn't have a dry cleaner or anything, and I got oh. Grandpa's DNA all over it. <laughs> wow. I keep hoping maybe he'll haunt my house. Wouldn't that be cool? So. Where's the cigar Is burn? Is that it? Actual? Yeah, right there. Shoes? No, these are the boots my husband wore to dress as Herman Munster for the charity event. There's a cigar. How did he walk in there? And there they smoked. <laughs> and this was his obituary. Oh. Yeah, wow. Oh, sad. Yeah, it was sad to lose him. Well, it was sad to lose oh, any yeah. of them, but, you know, it's going to kill me when Herman Munster dies. It's Because I keep recalling. The 
murder mystery room, mystery room is straight ahead here. It is so cool. It is it's so, so much stuff fun. like that where I live. Yeah, yeah. I know. this is really cool. I mean, we I would really have a blast because oh my, my sister-in-law has been my best friend for 45 years. So it's me and her doing it together. There's no record player. And scripts and things like that. Oh. And we just have a good time. And people come in. It's crazy because you might, but there's 10 people. And I never know if there's going to be more women or more men. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, a man might have to play a woman's part. A woman might have to play a man. He can just lay up. She was big. Wow. Right. So this is the murder mystery room that they do. A little bit of wine. This would be so cool to do it in this house. This is so cool. Yeah. Look at that. They're fun though. I did one at a work thing in North Carolina and it, it's just, it's a good time. Yeah. All right, what'd you think, Mark? Oh my God, that was so awesome. Surprise. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was mm. such a nice yeah. See? I loved it. Yeah, beautiful house. Sharon was uh, awesome, gave us a great tour. Sandra, I'm sorry. Sandra, it's awesome, gave us a great tour. Yep, so if you liked it, Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. And we'll see you all next time on the Travel Channel. <laughs> Signing off from the Munster House. So cool. See you guys later.